do, do they have Bob Ross Geralt? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Big Fro <Bro> Geralt. <laughs> what Jordan just asked is like, does Witcher 3 have workshop items? Uh, which, yeah. <laughs> maybe. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. Gentlemen, are you ready to box? That's what we're doing yeah. tonight, right? Just boxing on a Monday? It, aw, you got a little blinky. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I've, I've lost my ability to thermoregulate, man. <laughs> um, it, 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 it was, it was fine, and now it's I, freezing. I'm sorry you're ill, but that's goddamn adorable. Um, <laughs> anyway, I'm Vince Stone. That's Jordan, <laughs> Jordan the Blanket Swag. And over there is Pedro Mateus together with you. Shout out watching this live on a special Monday edition. Help it us form Cocaine Voltron. Gentlemen, what's up? What's new? I just want to say I'm coming to you live from the majesty that is XFC 418. Ooh, Ooh, fancy. Ooh, new shiny, which the good news looks, is that... It looks exactly the same. Fucking can't tell the difference. Okay, I can't. I found the one thing. I found the one thing. I'm like, oh, that's mm. different. It's Thunar. Like when you highlight something, mm. it's rounded now. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Bringing in that Lib Adelaida theming. I'm just like, oh, man, the future is here. No, this is one of the... It, Love it or hate it, that's XFC. Like, if you find something different, you really you got to go looking through the change log. Like, oh, that might be neat. Let me where's that at? Uh, they did one thing that was really cool, and I, uh, you can change your default application without having to hack in Moon Glyphs. Mm. So if you'd installed um, Chrome Beta, and it decided that, hey, you know what? I open images now for mm. everything everything i'm like no you don't um, <laughs> it, it's nice to have a mime type editor uh-huh <laughs> so that, that was pretty nice and um i don't know if you can see him it, oh yeah i might have on uh did i post a picture on my twitters i got something from aliexpress that was kind of oh man that goat was adorable i want that screaming goat um <laughs> yeah <laughs> have a holly jolly uh, check this out i got these I ordered them a couple of weeks ago. They are replacement pads for my Sony uh, MDR7506s. They are made out of peeled sheep, mm. which I was very glad to... Ba. Yeah, ba. Ba means ear. I wanted a pair of leather ear pads because I don't want to replace ear pads every other year. Mm-hmm. And uh, everybody had like synthetic leather and all that. And I'm like, no, just a regular leather pair. And I got those for like 20 bucks. Very happy. And... uh Rectangle, we're not doing weekly daily Wednesdays this week, but in lieu of that, we're going to be doing a uh, live stream, building the Steam Rectangle, Ooh. maybe on Wednesday, maybe on Thursday. It depends on their motherboard showed up. <laughs> I, I'm waiting on a thermal pad, gentlemen. That's mm. it. I'm waiting on a, because right. <laughs> I am not, I love everybody, but I'm not using thermal paste to do a live stream, to turn around and take that off, wipe that off, put a thermal pad on the next day. So we're going to oh, do Oh, no, that. no. You, you need everyone fucking judging you on your thermal-based application technique. Uh, no, no. Yeah. You do it's the like, same thing you, that everyone doing? else who builds computers online does, which is you move the motherboard off shot, you do the thermal paste, you put the cooler on, mm. and you move the motherboard back. <laughs> ah, I like a coward. I oh, no, <laughs> no, no. Pedro, I'm going to do it like a cooking show where it's like a different motherboard. When the different- yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's completely different heat sink, like different memory yeah. and everything. Like, yeah. but we already have one prepared by the power yeah. of having two of co- completely different things. There you go. <laughs> you know, if I genuinely didn't give a fuck for the comedic bit, it would be awesome to take out some Hellman's and a butter knife. It would be hilarious <laughs> to do it in the kitchen and pull the motherboard out of the oven. Like we've, we've already, had, I don't we already need have... to get sued by Nvidia again. Yeah, Man, Nvidia's yeah. probably going to sue somebody, <laughs> but then I would have to spend like $5,000 in like spatulas. <laughs> <laughs> see that's when the steam spatula comes in handy <laughs> that's what i'm saying man uh so maybe wednesday maybe thursday maybe friday it's gonna happen and uh that's gonna be a thing it's gonna be fun to do also i didn't know what to do with myself on saturday at all i haven't had a saturday off in like three four years now so i did the thing where i was sitting there and like I, I need something productive to do that's not going to catch on fire or end up with like emergency services showing up i cleaned out my inboxes man and we're talking like all of my inboxes had somewhere between 12 and eighteen thousand emails in them <laughs> ah. <laughs> and it, it's all it boils down to that like if, if i delete that email from six years ago tomorrow i'm gonna need it and that's not an unreasonable fear because that has happened before 
Yeah. Uh, so I archived everything and I went through and I cleaned it. I, I, I got to, I didn't get to inbox zero. I, my goal was to get to inbox 900. So, sub 1000. <laughs> yes. So I managed <laughs> on all my primary email accounts to get under 900 emails. And what, man, what I am, am a, militant about deleting shit now, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> what am I at? What am I at on uh, red? I don't know. 2084. Okay. That's, that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, maybe I'm the OCD one here because all of my inboxes are at zero. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were going to go mean, the other way. I thought you were going to be like, peasants. I mean, yeah, you can always do like the, the Gmail, like uh, hit the checkbox, select everything, mark everything as red. Um, mm. I, st- I stopped doing that after a while because I got way too obsessive with it. And it's like, it, w- it would trigger me if like there was one email. I'm like, no, have to address it. Have to keep this at zero. See, I got that problem too, man. That's why I've disabled like Thunderbird email notifications on the desktop because as soon as that pops up, I'm like, stop everything. We need to go. And that tends to create issues with games. It's it's just a good idea to disable those. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so I get to that when I get to that. Jordan, outside of um, making that clicking noise, uh, <laughs> pills. <laughs> We're gonna put a got, marker there. <laughs> got pills here. Got pills. Um, I, I, I needed I needed to take them at six. That's that's what's when the old ones wear off. Yeah, uh, COVID sucks. Uh, one chair do do not recommend. I've uh, for, fortunately it's a pretty minor case. I got like all four vaccines and I got the bivalent one, so it's a pretty minor case. I you can see I'm like blanket mummy now because I've lost the ability to maintain consistent body temperature. So I'm gonna be like in and out of this blanket for the entire podcast. It's gonna be a fun little game for you to play at home. Oh man, come on, plug in like one of those heaters and put them under your desk. I, there is a heated blanket. There's like two heated blankets here. Mm. So I if 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 I really wanted to, but like yeah, no, wear, wear a mask, get your vac- vaccines. Like if you can, like it sucks. I would not recommend. Yeah, <laughs> don't, don't get sick, don't, kids. Don't 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 do it. D- be responsible. Don't get other people sick too. Unlike yeah. my stupid mechanic. <laughs> Ugh. So what, what about, what about yeah, you, Pedro? How's your, how's Pedro, your uh, 3D printed, printed controller there, like, uh, it, It's actually very, very nice. Uh, big, big thank you to the fine folks at It's Input a scroll Labs. wheel! Mm-hmm. Yeah, it does have a scroll wheel. And it, as we learned, it is an actual scroll wheel. It doesn't click! I was disappointed. It, it doesn't have the scroll wheel click. It is just a scroll wheel. So... Yeah, but yeah, no. Uh, I actually already have like two thirds of the written review done. Uh, I just need to actually say how it is to play games for me specifically because that is going to be a very biased review. <laughs> what about the Mayo submergence uh, test? How long it can yeah. function? Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what about the no. hobo scale? <laughs> but it is uh, the hobo scale is not great because it is very light, like. It doesn't weigh anything. <laughs> There's no here, battery in it or anything, so it's very here, light. Here, here, here's my question: In a heated gamer moment, TM, could you snap this with your hands? Oh yeah, easily. <laughs> okay. This is yeah. This is PLA. This is made out of PLA. Most of it is uh, printed out of PLA, and the bit around the face buttons here is conductive PLA for the gyro ratcheting, which is a term that I learned recently. Okay. I wonder why. <laughs> Um, you know, I just thought about like, if we're going to get into like controller testing, I want to, uh, head over to the, um, local big box store and like get some sheetrock and set up a thing in the house somewhere where I can throw a controller at it to see, <laughs> you know, depending on each I, controller, I will, I will, how much will, damage it does to sheetrock. <laughs> I would love to do that video series. I would, I would love to just like have an entire video series of me just going ape shit on controllers and then rate, rate them on like. Well, you know, it's, it's still plugs in, still can play Super Mario. It's that and how much damage you're going to do to your home when you launch it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, man. They're, and, they're, 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 uh, it's uh, ratcheting, not rationing. But, you know, rationing. <laughs> there, there, there's um well, there, there was uh there was some post on reddit where it's just like yeah hooked up the wii for fun and it's just like a picture of like the tv with like a fucking crater in it like yeah yeah remember that that's why you use the straps vintage oh much like the horse oh man yeah the horse i i, I, I don't i don't know if i have anything clever this week i'm too sick it's the steam no, no voice and, for that. Uh, speaking of controllers, uh, the, the one controller that lets you play games all by itself, the Steam Deck, not the, the NVIDIA Shield. No, no, no. Uh, there's a new version of uh, the Steam Deck OS, uh, 
version 3.4.2 uh, because they had to re-release it twice. The first time they were missing the... What was it? Uh, they there was a regression on how SD, SD cards, cards were handled. Right? Yeah. yeah, and then uh, for three point four point two, they uh, two things that they had missed, which was the HDMI and DisplayPort audio was defaulting to the wrong sync, and the um, encoding um, hardware encoding was still disabled, but with three point four point two, that's now re-enabled too. So if you're streaming from the deck somewhere else, it's using proper hardware encoding. The this is a big one. This is actual one of those big updates. Uh, it comes with a new um, snapshot of Arch, which uh, brings uh, basically any changes that you made to the uh, root file system are going to be nuked. And besides all of the performance improvements that comes with said new base, new um, mesas, uh, new pipe wire, new KDE, there's also a bunch of improvements to the touchscreen gestures and other stuff for desktop mode. But the thing that I noticed was navigation is a lot smoother in game mode now. So I guess those um, improvements that they've been making for the desktop version of the new... Um, big picture mode have actually translated well enough to the deck which is nice and yeah you can also uh, the thing that we talked about a while back that was in preview you can disable um compositing altogether and just deal with the tearing for the sake of the lower input latency so if you're one of those people that is really really worried it's uh, my controller lag there you go you just enable that and away you go why do you have tearing when you disable compositing i don't have compositing and i don't have tearing if you're uh, hi, if I'm you your have, resident Nvidia shield. Um, y yes, <laughs> you're forcing compositing via the uh, GPU itself. But it's uh, if you completely disable all kinds of compositing, and your machine cannot sustain the frame rate required to present it at the same rate that it shows on screen, there's always going to be tearing. That's so if I'm playing like a rhythm game on the touchscreen, <laughs> yes, it's going to be yeah. <laughs> And it's good. It, like you, you just have to make sure that you tap Osu, that the game is called, uh, <laughs> that you tap in the right place, even though probably one of the balls will be slightly off. <laughs> so, didn't NVIDIA do something incredibly dumb? Didn't they announce that they're going to get rid of like one of their game streaming services? Uh, like game stream. Yeah, what is specifically? That, that uh, is the thing that you used to have to use Moonlight on Linux if you wanted to play, which was a Windows only thing that allows. Well, that the, the Shadow Play thing, right? Mm -mm. Uh, Shadowplay mm. was a re local recording one uh, that was for streaming to another machine, but it mm. also used NVENC. Mm. Uh, yeah, it was basically NVIDIA's thing about letting you stream uh, Steam home streaming, kind of like that, but only for people with NVIDIA. That's why I was curious, because NVIDIA's solution was to use the uh, Steam link. Yes. I'm like Th They specifically said, yeah, no, just use Steam home streaming, because it does use uh, NVENC, so it should look about the same, and if there are YouTubers who say they don't, ask them to take comparative shots, please. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, since we're on the Steam topic, let's talk about the latest version of Proton, which is 7-43. A couple of... GE Proton. Hey, and hey, because we're doing it on a Monday, we can actually talk about it on the it's podcast. The <laughs> GE Proton. A couple of things in here, though, man. Uh, you uh, pointed out, Jordan, that it fixed the uh, NVIDIA hair works in the latest Witcher HD update. Yes. If, if you want uh, Pentium Pro V <laughs> Geralt, then, or Geralt, then, uh, yeah, you, you can have that. Also, they're, they're, work, they're working on Fall Guys, man. Maybe one day it'll be fucking stable. I would like to be able to complete an entire round of Fall, guy, fall Guys. <laughs> I, it, they took that off Steam recently, didn't they? Like, yeah. You, can, you, can, you can't buy it anymore, but like, if if you own the game, you can still play it. it it's to help the gaming community. Um, yeah. Something, yeah it's, something. That, that's, uh, much needed competition. Yeah. Or something, something. Rocket like cars syndrome uh, right there. Mm -hmm. that, yeah. Now, one thing that was really big was, and I'm, I'm a little bit sad, because it was hilarious if you had NVIDIA Hairworks on, and uh, Daddy Witcher was, I, I he was just bald, but he looked like, it, like a, a weird Agent 47? Cut. Yeah. <laughs> Man, see that that that's a crossover can we do like witcher witcher x hitman i might i might watch that my first thought though because you can do like different haircuts and stuff in the witcher i was like what the hell was i up to last time because i hadn't opened that game in a couple of years i'm like did i get it like a crop top i'm like oh that's what it was 
do, do they have Bob Ross Geralt's? Uh, <laughs> Big Pro <Ba> Geralt. <laughs> what Jordan just asked is like, does Witcher 3 have workshop items? Uh, which, yeah. <laughs> maybe. The uh, one that I was happy to see, and this has been fixed in regular Proton Experimental, Assassin's Creed Vikings of Valhalla now works. Okay. With some fuckery, you have to hard limit it at 60 FPS because there's a race condition with it's an Ubisoft title, man. You figure this out. However, the only thing I don't like about it is that you click start and you got to wait about four and a half to five minutes before it gets in game. Mm. How did you figure this out, Finn? Because I said, fuck it and walked off and I came back and the game had started. I'm like, what happened here? How did, huh? <laughs> I thought, oh, it never, I thought it, it just went away. And it's like, no, 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 I didn't go anywhere. I was just sitting here for like four minutes. So yes, yeah. there's a like four minute lag from clicking play and or launching in game. Don't care enough to troubleshoot it. Was it just the first time or does it keep doing every, it? Every time, every time. Oh, so uh, I, I, <laughs> when you ask Pedro, what graphics settings do I have? Uh, the ones that are there, man, because I'm the default. Yes. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I don't have 45 minutes to test two or three things. Out. <laughs> Stinker launcher. Yeah, oh, yeah. Steam, Steam Tinker launcher. It's that thing that you can use when you want to launch your Steam games with not necessarily what Steam provides. They got a brand new version out and oh God, it's a fucking big change log. Made my eyes glaze over. Um, yeah, so uh, first off, if you're uh, on an existing install of SteamOS, you don't have this installed. Um, you got to upgrade to SteamOS 3.4 if you want to install Mod Organizer 2. If you already have Mod Organizer 2 installed, you're fine. You don't need to worry about it. Um, but uh, amongst the stuff here is Steam Deck integration, better game support, better UI options, you name it. They got mod-specific support for, like, specific things, i.e. mod yes. manager, um... Better, it's better the big mod feedback. manager update this one it's for mod yeah. organizer to vortex hedge and a couple of the other small ones but yeah no that that is the ultimate use for uh steam tanker launch is it's so easy to set up something like vortex which is stupidly complicated and sometimes if you ever look at the lutris installer for vortex it's very complicated i'm, I'm so, looking at a lot of this and this should say <laughs> still alive Thanks to Sonic 2KK. Yeah, he's, he's the, 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 the main... I mean, he, he was the one who released this. I think it's his it's his GitHub, so it's his script. But yeah, uh, th thank you very much, Sonic 2KK. Sanic. 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 Have either of you played around with a Steam Tinker launcher? No, I yes. haven't really had much of an opportunity. I guess, like, if you have a Steam Deck, then yeah, it's, like, crucial because you don't usually have... Even like, without a UI. Steam Deck, if you like um, mods, if you play a lot of the games and you just load them up with mods you kind of want something like mod organizer 2 or vortex it's so easy it makes it so easy use it seriously just uh, install a steam tanker launch and then read up on how to install vortex it's like a one button press just let it do its thing perfect <laughs> it always feels like gambling though doesn't it yeah <laughs> It's like, well, is uh, so the game is crashing now. Was this the mod or was it something I did? I, I mean, th this, this is better than like <laughs> dealing with like line, line tricks or proton tricks to like figure out what the hell is actually wrong. This does it all for you. It's really yes. nice. <laughs> the, 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 those wonderful little like line tricks commands that you're like, okay, I have no idea what the syntax is. I hope this works. Oh, and line crashed. All right. Uh -huh. Well, some, something failed. <laughs> so, um, does anybody want a snack? Because that's making me hungry. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, no about snacks, but uh, Psychosis is a game. <laughs> it's in uh, it's an early access. It's fifteen percent off for the winter sale. And um, Chunky. the thing that uh, I really noticed uh, outside of the um, um, like it, it, now it says it's just Windows, but when I put it in, uh, in the uh, show notes, it actually has. I'm sorry. A, I'm sorry. I got I got I got to back this up because this leads me to believe that. That bat has a flashlight attachment. 
<laughs> yeah, it's, it's duct tape. I, I think a person's holding it in their mouth, but yeah, no. There was a uh, Linux version there. It's gone now. Oh. Kind of, you know, Silent Hill memes. Uh, but yeah, no, it had a caveat mTOR that said additional notes. Linux build is experimental and might not work correctly. So I guess uh, I, we know what happened to that. Blah, blah. It was experimental enough that it got pulled. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Gra- graphically, it gives me some like Doom 3 vibes a little bit. Mm-hmm. You know that, what that I'm going to say? Looks, looks, as far that as got, horror that, games that go, chunked. it looks real good. The main reason I wanted to keep this in and, and it's hanging around is because that is, that is the correct thing to do. Yep. The um, I didn't test this shit. I smashed export. Hey, give me money for it. I'm like, oh, it's broken. Oh, I should probably take that down. Yep. Stop, <laughs> stop selling it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes that's uh, not the case. Not the case. Good no, job, but... Mr. Uh, Aaron Gilbert, if that is your real name. <laughs> no, no, no relation to Ron Gilbert. I had to look that up. No. <laughs> All right, Jeremy, calm down. Uh, so, what do you think about when I say bodies, corpses, and cardboard boxes? Hmm? Let the body set the flow. Let the, the body, body set, set the, the flow. flow. Um, man, I was watching some new Static X. I didn't know they were still making music. I don't know why they reminded me of that. Same genre, same era, right? Yeah, like new new metal. Like I guess wait, I guess they're they're continuing without Wayne Static, but the guy the band's named after. It, but... it was uh, it was like that still sounds like Static X. I mean, ah, know, f- fair right. enough. Uh, I mean, so... I mean, yeah, it's like ACDC, right? Like they, yeah, they have a right. Clearly defined sound, right? So, did, yeah. did you put like a spiky hair on him? All right, he's good. Uh, <laughs> so not to take anything away from that. But what you should think about, ladies and gentlemen, when you think about corpses and cardboard boxes is racing, because that's what corpse box racers is all about. What if when people die, they go to heaven only to find in their, you know, still dead and their bodies are now used as competitive uh, competitors in tournaments. Uh, <laughs> I okay. saw this. I looked at it and we're watching the video right now. There's four people playing. Uh, you know, initially it's what, you know, they have X's on their eyes to let you know that it is, in fact, not a regular body. It might be a non-functioning body. I'm like, okay, this is pretty cool. Eight bucks. Maybe we'll uh, pick some up for the... You didn't do the thing, Brad. You Local didn't. multiplayer only. <laughs> like, I, this is this is what I really don't understand. And we're, we're, we're coming up on 2023 now. Uh-huh. How can you expect to re- people to recommend a multiplayer game when you don't give people a good way Jordan, to play with other people? Jordan, what the fuck is your problem? You, right now, after this show, can head over to your friend's house and play some multiplayer couch gaming. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just going to go and sneeze on all his shit. Yes. And, like, and like give him a deep and... kiss in the mouth. <laughs> I, I mean, I do that anyways. Yeah, right. right. I, mean, <laughs> that, that, I mean, that's what friendship is. If you don't like deep French kiss your, your friends, are, are they really yes. your friends? You shallow French kissing punk. <laughs> uh, <laughs> one more game that is due this Turbo week. Punch! Yeah. Uh, I mean, it, it, is, it is what it says on the tin. You are a, a panda and you punch stuff. If you're looking for a game where you punch pandas, you should probably look elsewhere. Probably Tekken. Uh, but yeah, in, in, ca- in case that's not what you're into, yeah, uh, Panda Punch. It is a Metroid. I, I don't know if it's a Metroidvania style platformer. It's definitely like a side scroller. Uh, in 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 that in that style, um, it definitely a, get a little it's bit. It's Bionic Punch Pando. Yeah, yeah. Bionic it, Commando. It you sw- you swing around. Action yeah. platformery type of situation. <laughs> I, and I mean, like for six forty nine Canadian, the asking price is pretty reasonable, and it looks not awful. Uh, but yeah, it's available on Linux. What what does it need? A Core 2 Duo and Ubuntu 20, the 20th version of Ubuntu. Mm. Yes. You know what? I hope I genuinely hope this is like a fun, well done game because this is immediately going to be adopted by the furry community and there's we'll just back it for fuck all reason like they did on um, mm-hmm. what was that game that we played? Freedom that Planet. Was, Freedom Planet. That was just a horrible game and we got jumped Dude, in they, like, they, They've they've improved it since, man. Like it has legit speed runs now. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, they have been updating the game, but uh, yeah. it is that that at the time is like no, I'm playing as someone's first Sona, and I uh-huh. don't feel entirely. It was a bad uh, game. Confident in the role. <laughs> oh, I didn't care about that. I cared about the physics in it were bad. It was like this is this is not good. Fix the game. I, I, but you know, for the price, gentlemen, for four ninety nine, I'm gonna try it out. But I don't even have to give him four ninety nine, Pedro. No, they actually sent us some keys. So thank you very, very much uh, to the publisher, Ratalaika Games. All right. Thank you very much. They, they actually sent us some keys. So yeah, no, there will be chairs flying it, uh, at it at some point. And for some reason, I had it in my mind that um, 
red pandas were marsupials, but no, no, they're they're closer Delicious. to skunks oh. and weasels and mus- mus- uh, mustelids is the clade. Yeah, uh, well, skunks, weasels, and um, raccoons. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know, man. I, if you're a panda with a bionic hand, I'm just saying, man, test that shit on a hot dog first. You know what I'm on about. I'm just I saying, mean, don't hurt you, yourself. You, you can't, you can't get pandas to do that, man. That's that's kind of the problem. Well, I guess not red pandas. The the, the big uh, black and white pandas. They they don't want to breed, <laughs> the, but the large ones. Yeah, no, uh, they no, just no. want to die. They clearly just want to die. Please, please, please let us die. <laughs> oh man. Uh, speaking, got- uh, speaking of anthropomorphic animals, though. Yeah. Yes. Got, uh, you. Yes, me. I, I need. I need to breathe. My lungs. They don't work anymore. I got the COVID, man. Uh, TMNT <laughs> Arcade Mode. They have a brand new update for you. Comes with a couple of um, things like uh, VCR vision and a mess of game customization options to improve slash ruin your turtles' experience. I uh, can do stuff like turn, um, take off the super meter, and have you use health. Uh, Streets of Rage style. Uh, you can have. Um, you can enable doppelganger mode so that everyone can play uh, the same turtle and just be completely character blind. Bunch of other options to it, it basically what extend your gameplay. What do you think respective reptile does? That is an excellent question. Uh, I mean, they got it in reptile? the on position, so I assume. I don't know, man. Maybe, Radical maybe, ninja. Maybe, maybe that takes uh, friendly fire off. Fiercer foot. I'd go watch yeah. fiercer foot. <laughs> fa- fa- faster foot. Fiercer That's foot. That's the name of the volume three. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess you can toggle like fruit. the uh, yeah, no, the, that's uh, some, some kind of disease. But yeah, no. Just, uh, Maybe the foot the clad is just like fierce, you know, rar and rar. <laughs> <laughs> they, they they got their gold bond medicated powder. It's a radical foot. <laughs> But yeah, no, it's good to see the uh, .emu guys are keeping on updating this stuff. Um, yeah, because ter- it was a fun game, and unfortunately, we play we played through all the levels. So I guess the- here's how you uh, spice that up and ga- uh, generate some more uh, playthroughs. I guess it now, is. Was it I mean, just me, or does uh, VCR vision look really bad? It, it, it I looked, mean, it okay, did. Here's what it looks like, Pedro. It looks like a 25 year old try to emulate what they thought uh, <laughs> this shit used to look like. It looks really bad. <laughs> well, that, that was that was the thing too. They, they, there's been a bunch of YouTube videos on this where like they they don't take into account that like the way that like CRT TVs presented the images were a big reason behind why things were the way they were. It was the pixel design, and it was incorporated yeah. into the uh, visual aesthetics of the rainbow wing of the CRT uh, the way the yeah. laser would. Yeah, the, well, the two. Yeah, like yeah, it, 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 it was very intentional to like overcome a, a specific type uh, of limitation. Look up yeah. CRT Sonic Waterfall if you want the perfect example of like yeah. how that works, and you're like, oh, right. That, I mean, no, there's nothing against it with yeah. the aesthetic. Like, I've never got into the pixel because it's like in my day, pixels weren't sharp, and we did everything we could to make sure they weren't sharp. Yeah, you gotta you gotta, you gotta maintain the artifice, right? Like mm. abused the scan lines for the sake of aliasing. Yeah. Overclock the scan lines. <laughs> you know, at 1999, you know, this was always a tough... I think we all enjoyed playing through it. You know, six-player, yeah. just chaos. But there is the downside of that, because this is designed uh, from the ground up for that replayability, to get all the achievos, to get the times, and all the other stuff that none of us really care about. But we had a yeah, good time if, playing through yeah. it. Indeed, indeed. Deal with it. Yeah. Coming up next, man, everybody's dying. Atari is dying. Ark is dying. I'm dying. It's the Ark of Atari. (laughs) It's full of toasters. The news are coming right up. But before we get to that, we need to get the Street Fighter news. Uh, Well, that too. But I was going to say that we need to make Jordan use his voice uh, while he's struggling with the Rona. (laughs) Do you think we could have a news arc? I mean, I mean, we, we yeah, e, that, again, that's it the has very to be start EX of it. News Turbo <laughs> Quad World Edition, the movie, the game, the movie, the game, the movie, the game. Well, if you if you want if you want to watch LGC, the movie, the game, the movie, head on over to patreoncom slash <laughs> Netflix. The, the, just write us yeah. a check and see what happens. We'll, we'll the, fucking the, the, try. The, 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 <laughs> Linux Gamecast, the movie, the game, the movie, the napkin drawing. Right. Yes. <laughs> Live on Patreon, <laughs> um, patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. Sign up, get access to our Discord. You can get a, you can also do that by uh, subbing to us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Linux Gamecast. Uh, you can hang out with us the other six days of the week while we chat about random bullshit, like uh, very, very spicy coffee and I guess, I guess holiday decorations. That's what people were posting earlier. Uh, you can also RSVP to game streams. I do Borderlands on Thursdays. Ven does Trackmania on Tuesdays and Fridays. So if you want to play some video games with us, getting into our Discord is how you do that. We got to thank some Patreons. Uh, we got to thank uh, Ogiwan, our latest sea monster. 
Uh, and we got mm-hmm. some uh, Twitch people we got to thank as well. Um, Don M slash Dubsy Gugu. No, it's Don uh, M and Dubsy. And Dubsy. All right. And, That'd and be or. lazy, man. <laughs> All right, and uh, PT, PT Dave with the 14 month re- month resub. We got a store store.linuxgamecast.com. Buy some stuff, buy some clothes. You know, if you can't thermoregulate, you can layer yourself in Hell Elks and Frank clothes, and you might sweat yourself to a like low salt aneurysm. I don't know. I just realized uh, this is a very pleasing texture on the front of the sweater. <laughs> it's like, oh man. I'm like, like hmm. <laughs> it, uh, for those of you watching the video, I didn't just recently discover my body. I'm like, oh, that's funny. Oh, yeah, yeah. You Pattern. spend the rest of the new segment like, mm, mm. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, so get, get, get your hands on that. Uh, we got we got uh, Wishstones as well. LinuxGamecast.com. Put your mouse over the support button. I have one. Pedro has one. Jill has one. Ven has one. Buy us stuff off it. You can send us notes that we have to read on the internet. Uh, Pedro, you got, you got something. I did. Uh, not exactly off the wish list, but one Gamotron uh, happened to find herself in a uh, charity shop and thought that I might like these. Uh, I'll show them in a, in a second. Hope uh, you and Nori have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, Gamotron. So thank you. That, that was written in a very, very nice handwriting and very, very pink, very shiny uh, pen. Uh, good job. <laughs> but yeah, right, the, right. so G- Game Game of Tron no has like glitter? handwriting. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's pink glitter. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, fine. All right. I, oh, wow, I, I mean, like, I'm, I'm, I'm very curious what like the rest. Like, I've never seen Ven's handwriting, and I'm pretty sure I've never seen Pedro's handwriting. <laughs> oh, so fuck you, have not. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess. That's, yeah, that, that's that's blackboard. That's writing, though. stylized that's, that's though. <laughs> yeah, that's black. That's blackboard. Uh, tell writing. me that's more different. about this imaginary world where you need to believe that in order to get through your day. <laughs> I mean, you, you you write on the blackboard with your with your with your elbow. You write with on a pen paper with your wrist. It's different. Um, and, yes, anyways, never winter nights physical editions, uh, the original <laughs> game and the two expansions. <laughs> Thank you. That is actually very very nice. Um, I didn't have the. Um, physical just the physical versions of the expansions alone so thank you very much very much appreciated game of tron do they have the manuals uh the expansions do this one does not uh this mm. one just has the little cd key sticker on the inside and uh more advertising for pc gamer so uh, did you did you subscribe to the pc gamer magazine no <laughs> like i have uh, qualms with Every single article that they were, well, not every single one, but <coughs> most of them, at least the ones that mention Linux, I have problems with PC Gamer. So are those PC games or like PS4 games or what? They're PC it's games, a, yes. Okay. This is PC, PC CD-ROM. Yeah. PC read. CD-ROM, all the things. Yeah, the, the first one has uh, the two CDs and the other two have just uh, the one. So yeah, no, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Well, that is I, brilliant. We thank you for your support and come hang out with us. We're doing the uh, Trek Mania tomorrow, no matter what. Yeah. And uh, later on this week, hopefully, I'll be doing the rectangle build. So come hang out and uh, mock me relentlessly. I'll enjoy it. It'll make me happy. I might even wear the sweater and rub on it some more because that's still real fucking neat. Uh, uh, mm, uh, mm. Something, something, static electricity. Something, something, good touch. <laughs> let's talk. Let's talk about art cards and how we're gonna be able to buy good new news, ones everyone. <laughs> Yeah. Park is dead. Intel breaks up graphics group. Raja Kadori moves back to chief architect role. Intel splits gaming and data center GPUs into two groups. This is exactly how they killed off Larrabee, their original uh, GPU that Intel was working. But Intel says consumer GPU teams are now fully engaged in getting Battle Mage finished and released. So ignore things that are actually happening. La la la. Man behind the curtain. Yeah. This is exactly what they did with uh, Larrabee back in the day. They say, hey, we're going to have compute division and we're going to make this a uh, consumer facing GPU. Div- Poof, what do you mean? Just compute a bit? And then that had to die too. But, you know, I can definitely see a future here. I can, gentlemen. Um, or they do end up shipping Battle Mage. I, mean, I want to believe, right? Mm. At least let's get Battle Mage and make it a real boy. Uh, however, to look at that realistically, am I wrong here when I'm thinking about this? Battle Mage gets shipped. And it's able to compete against high-end 30 series NVIDIA cards right around the time the 50 series comes out for $2,000. <laughs> so I don't what, what, think what, they what, can what, price it at that point. <laughs> what, what, what is the timeline on the 50 series? Do we know? Do we, do we know? Have we heard any rumblings? Because like if, if, they can, if they can get Battle Mage out by end of the year, like maybe... I, it's, it's, it's in the air. Because like here, here's, here's With the NVIDIA, deal. it's like every other year that they release a new... 
Yeah, so you, you, in, Intel Intel might have some time. And here's here's the thing. I 100% believe that if uh, Intel sticks with it, we could have a legitimate player three in a, three year, in a few years. But it is absolutely deluded. You're deluding yourself if you believe that you're going to come into a, a already established market for hardware with your initial release and be an overnight success. That just does not happen in any industry. You need to build up the experience. You need to build up a reputation. You need to fail a few times so you can figure out what not to do and refine all of your processes, which it doesn't seem like Intel is willing to do. And th- I think they're there, having there's to a, a mid range. There's like, yeah, people, people don't want to pay like $600 for like a mid range card. And speaking of like the, the NVIDIA, like 5,000 series, like, you know, the way prices are going, we're probably going to have to, you know, look forward to that future of like six hundred dollar RTX sixty sixties that like slightly outperform a, a, a thirty eighty or whatever. Um, but like, yeah, there's there, there's an entire market segment here from like sub like eight hundred dollar cards that Intel mm-hmm. could totally go after. And they, they absolutely could. Very- could. I yeah. think the problem Intel is facing right now is there's somebody because they had the initial game plan. They're like, okay, we got uh, you know the super low end, then we got the what seven seven eighty. Yes, uh, the so, the yeah. top end. Mm-hmm. Is the 780? I believe. I want to get it correct. Pedro, you're not helping at all. Uh, the 770. 770. 770. Okay, yes. look at that. Uh, I think the initial sell to that to the higher ups, the people in charge of Intel, was like, "We're going to get these. They're they're not fast. This is our first time out of the gate, you know. But they're going to be available, and no cards are available. They planned on shipping these things an entire year before they actually got to market. Mm-hmm. To where performance didn't matter so much as you could buy one, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. The, the, so this, this was uh, this was like in in the middle of COVID times, right? Where like and you couldn't were, get a GPU. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Like there, I couldn't get a hold of a thirty sixty. And if Intel had showed up and with it uh, the seven eighty, and I'm like, hey, you're uh, three hundred fifty bucks, sixteen gigs. Like, give me two. And that fell apart. So somebody on whatever team there had had to go back to the drawing board and be like, can we get a take two on this? Because you know it looked horrible. Because Intel launched Arc, and the fastest thing Intel had, their big bad boy, yeah, it still had that great price, three hundred fifty dollars, but it was slower than the thirty sixty. Yeah, it, it, it was slower than the thirty sixty in uh, Direct Three D twelve and Vulcan, and when you even looked at DX eleven and DX nine, oh boy, that was bad. That was. Bad. Really bad. But, but again, like, m- m- any, anyone who has, like, touched a computer in the past would, like, tell you that, like, yeah, that, that that's to be expected, right? Like, we're in, again, they're not going to, they were never going to hit performance parity with an already established. And I don't think that's uh, necessarily the problem, Jordan. Yeah. I think the problem is, is, like, whoever, is, like, Raja was in charge of that, having to go back to the investors and going, we fucked that up. But this time, and, like, this wasn't like a, you know, true fitty. Fuck up! It's probably a billion dollar fuck up in getting these things launched at the appropriate time. Um, like, can we get take two on this with Battle Mage? And like, because that uh, Battle Mage is going to make or break if Battle Mage ships. Yeah. Right. It needs and, and, to be, and, 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 people need to be able to get the cards because Nvidia is learning very very well now with the forty eighties that they can't just sell cards at whatever price they think they can. Uh, so Intel has a solid opportunity. To come in, like Jordan said, at the mid-range, the sub four hundred ish dollar, whatever currency unit, and release a good video card. It doesn't need to be the best. It just needs to be competitive. It's kind of the same thing with AMD with Ryzen. The first gen Ryzen, it wasn't the best, but it was competitive, and it, it was, was it was affordable. <laughs> and, yeah. Yeah, here, here's the other thing: is like the 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 state the landscape of like graphics drivers, right? Nvidia and AMD have had years to figure out how to get these mm-hmm. games running on their platform. So, and, you know, devoted engineering resources to like help other companies get games on their shit. Intel doesn't have that. Intel had like what they, they had Overwatch and Destiny and like a couple big titles that they had people working with, but that was kind of it, right? Yep. It was the yeah. DX12 ones, basically. <laughs> well, I mean, there is that. And there's a, a, a who was it? Tom, uh, from Intel, I was like, "Yo, no, man, we've been making video drivers for twenty years, man. Don't worry about it." Oops. Uh, uh, yeah, no, you yeah. Gotta eat those words now. I, I, <laughs> I mean, you know, you know when, when, that. How when, does when Intel pull uh, this when, off, gentlemen? This is what I want to know from each of you: is by the end of the year, because we're not going to have a forty, fifty, or even maybe we'll get some rumblings of a forty, fifty, forty, sixty, forty, ninety, not ninety, um, five hundred series, even after that. But let's say Battle Mage this time next year. 
December, and we're seeing 30, 80, 30, 90 performance, and they managed to keep it at 400 bucks. Do you think that's a winner? Do you think they'll be able to survive oh, yeah. and keep going? No, I think that at that well, point, even the 3080 and the 3090 will be nowhere near that price. But yeah, if they can pull that off, that's enough people will go, oh, okay, I'll just buy one of those. I, I don't know. We're, we're also talking about Intel executives and they operate on like their own special kind of moon logic. So yeah. <laughs> who, who, who I mean, knows? They are splitting off the graphics division because, you know, let's let's make it, the one it, that uh, it's a very successful businesses. strategy. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. That, pe people love when we do this. Right. When we split our teams and cut our engineering effort in half. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, I think people the big really like message that. right there is it sends it's not a vote of confidence is what that is. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of the things that never had much of a confidence with the, uh, well, not so much the executives because they never had any confidence, but the actual general public, the Atari VCS, it was mocked relentlessly on this very show and they released it. They actually released it. But look it at that available. fine Corinthian wood grain. Yeah, <laughs> it was actually available for sale. You could buy the controller separately or you could buy the bundle with everything, uh, but it was for sale. So a lot of people picked it up, at least a couple of YouTubers that I follow did. And uh, they did the thing that I wanted to do with these, which was basically get rid of all the Atari stuff and just install like desktop operating system on it, Linux. And um, yeah, just because having a stupid low power Ryzen APU board can make for some interesting projects. But as it turns out, it may, they may be starting to become harder to find because... Atari has decided to reorganize its hardware business and has effectively stopped the production of Atari VCSs. So get them now, get them now while they're still cheap. <laughs> that, that, that was kind of the problem, right? Like they, they were available via target and then target stopped selling them. And yeah, now you can just order them online, which like, yeah, huh. You could actually buy them TIL and yeah, like, like Pedro was saying, uh, the, like the, the actual computer running the thing is is the thing that I, I would like. Yeah, the VCS space yes. for two two ninety nine. Atari, or one, if you make this controller like twenty bucks, I'll buy one. Yeah, like you, <laughs> yeah, that needs to be cheaper, but it seems like a perfectly suitable controller. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Maybe if it 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 feels like the three D printed one that you have, unless yeah. <laughs> see. But I like the touchy feely of the the alpaca. It's very angular things. I thought it'd be uncomfortable, but no, this this is actually nice to hold. <laughs> but get some hats, listen, so. man, for three seventy nine, you can get an Atari and, and a speaker hat. Yeah, a hat, a hat for your speaker. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, well, along with everybody else, okay, you can get still get the VCS base for one ninety nine, mm -hmm. and you can get the hipster wood grain version with a bonus controller. Actually, that's not bad. Two ninety nine controller right? and the joystick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I had no idea that these were still in production because you know, basically for our group that was kind of interested in this, as soon as the Steam Deck was announced, we're like, Atari, what? <laughs> yeah, the Steam Deck kind of came in and ate everyone else's lunch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> very little attention to this and nobody's ever really made games for it and you look at look at atari's well, trying to sell asteroids and you know gravatar, gravatar limit, yeah limited editions it's like for a hundred bucks like uh yeah you get the nice uh, plastic stand there we've but been you over this before the people. browser you cannot manufacture nostalgia atari tell, that, this out. <laughs> tell, tell, that, to, tell that to disney man they're, they're <laughs> That mouse is gonna fuck you up, man. You better be careful. <laughs> it's a very, it's a very nostalgic blowjob. All right, but you know, you could, you could also have your face fucked by something else. Camera boards, man. Uh, we've talked about SVR, Simula VR, a, a couple of times because they're gonna be using Linux, and they're doing a, you know, kind of an ambitious. Anything with hardware is ambitious, right? I think that's always fair to say. VR headset that's gonna be Linux compatible, and it's gonna do a bunch of cool stuff. Look at it. That's a toaster any face would want to get fucked by. Um possibly needs a bit more in the room area of uh how much weren't these kind of expensive though? Let's have a look. Uh, the pre-orders are not uh Let's see, twenty six hundred dollars, yeah, five grand. See, no, <laughs> the, the founders edition straight up looks like a toaster. Like, Bitch, it's got wood grain on it though. <laughs> that's yeah, good. That, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna accidentally like put some bread in that, and you can get a 32 it. gig RAM upgrade for three. But they're kind of module. I mean, this is a you know the homebrew, and this is boutique. It's small. It's, What's uh, it get? It's, it's like a framework framework I VR headset, right? Iris, yeah. Z, yeah. well, the 
And here, here was the cool thing that we were talking about, like high-res virtual <laughs> desktops. That kind of got me interested, and that's the reason I always keep bringing these up, because this is this is the future. We're not there my, yet. My, minority Report, yeah. Right. Tom Cruise. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, you look at this, you're like, this is the future. And I'm like, no, this is a, a, this is a, a rough prototype of the future, mm-hmm. and this is not going to be the device that delivers it, but... You get this, the this, this is the groundwork for that device that will eventually hundred <laughs> percent. And I said, Hey man, you know, the, if they start working with the hardware and they get it out the door and you know, they're doing it. This is what I want to talk about. The camera boards they've been sent out to the PCB fab. And they also got some bonus things. Uh, let me scroll down here. The next steps up uh, bandwidth constraints. They, they're just talking about, they're working through it. They're being smart about it. They're not trying to do everything at once and just cash all that check. They got in some ever so slightly improved display samples from sharp. Nice to know. Teeny tiny screens. And, and some lens. upgraded lenses. Look at the little lenses. Look at the heavy face. Um, there it is. And, and this is open source, by the way, they even have a GitHub that you can pop over to and take a look at your Linux VR desktop. See what the future is going to look like. It's going to be awesome. Maybe. Yeah, no, that 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 battery, because that is effectively, you know, a laptop inside the visor. So that battery needs to be on like a belt clip. I think because... it looks better as an ankle clip. <laughs> yes, you could like it could look like you're under house arrest. No, see, but no, you, uh... you got to get like the, like the beer helmet where you have like a battery on each no, side. Oh, dude. Oh, you remember that bug that was on your back from Doctor Who? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I want that. <laughs> like a I spinal tap for the battery. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just happy that they're going about this the right way. You know, they're like, Hey, we're doing this. We're sending this out, taking a look at it and not just trying to throw money at a problem and disappearing and going up. We don't know what happened. We mismanaged everything. I'm like, well, same thing. Well, happens at, to most. at the very least, like you said, it's all open source. So it's like, right. if, they, if they fuck off, like all that work is still available. You can, someone can just pick it up where they left off. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Uh, and you don't even have to force it. Like I just did that segue. <laughs> that that works. Force it or not, it works. Uh, it is uh, yes, the Force Engine, which is a, a engine reimplementation of the Dark Forces games. The engine used for the Dark Forces. It's like, games. were you going to go with that biscuit recipe? No. Um, the Force Engine, which is a. <laughs> The, but uh, like, like it, it didn't just power tank. the Dark Forces engines. It also powers um, Outlaws. But this particular version does not include support for Outlaws. I've been looking for an engine re-implementation for Outlaws for a while. Version 2.0, they say. So I'll be looking forward to that. This is version 1.0, though. And it is, yeah, if uh, the initial full-fledged release, which only comes with the SLN file for... Um, yeah, the Microsoft well, thing, Visual Studio. Here, here, so, here's the thing, yeah. though. If, if you if you look at pull requests, though, there there's one from like four days ago. They're like, yeah, I got oh, a Linux build running. Very so good. you know, they, they, they've, <laughs> you know, you know, that's the beauty of open source, right? Like, yeah, it is. If, if you post your code on the internet, someone will get it running under <laughs> Linux. Um, yeah, they added some other features as well uh, on top of the base engine, like. Uh, Quick saves for maximum save scum support. Um, gotta gotta be able to scum those saves, especially in those old shooters where like they don't necessarily give you all the good save points, and you don't necessarily have the eighteen hours contiguously that you had as a youth. So yeah, that's that's gonna be. A nice Did the thing. Uh, either of you test out the uh, Duke Nukem Forever two thousand and one? Uh, no, nah, I didn't. I, didn't, I, didn't I fuck downloaded it. I started it. I saw that it read it's like neat. Never touched it again. <laughs> I um, out of curiosity, I saw it and I downloaded it, and uh, it was like, how much effort am I willing to put in? Wine space. <laughs> this was me, hundred percent, all in. And it launched and, and yes. set up, and I'm like, oh, that's kind of neat. Put us a screenshot, and like, ah, let's see if I can get through. Performance wasn't that great. Then it just like froze and killed me, and I didn't care. And I was, uh, you know what? I'll stream. The- no, I won't. Um. <laughs> well, we rough around the edges. Uh, apparently, what, 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 yeah. No, did you play with the OpenGL renderer or the DX9 renderer? Uh, DX9. Yeah. Speaking, a lot of people of were saying GL, that they were having more issues with OpenGL, so that was going to be my thing. Did you try? It? <laughs> uh, so speaking of OpenGL, the nice thing about the this this port of uh, the Force Engine is that it is entirely OpenGL based. They could have just as easily been like, yeah, we're just using DirectX 12 because it's the future, bro. But uh, yeah, it's all on OpenGL 3.3, which means that it's going to have pretty broad support. Uh, you'll be able to run this on your Raspberry Pi with no issue. Probably on your old ass uh, netbook. <laughs> I can still do OpenGL three, but uh, not four. <laughs> who's who, like who's actually doing OpenGL four? 
Like I, I, I know there's like projects that are using. Somebody's got to like, pay rent, man. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> OpenGL 4.6 has Spur V compatibility with Vulkan, so I mean, you don't have to write uh, shaders in GLSL, I guess. <laughs> I, I that still still doesn't answer my question. I, uh, <laughs> well, you could always try to run it on Wayland. What? Well, yeah. Wine on Wayland. That's Wine on Wayland. Yeah, there's um, Wine on Wayland. Uh, they have a update for this year. We've been following this uh, as as the progress or as the project um continues. This is all from Collabora. Uh, Collabora. All the links to all this stuff is in our show notes. But uh, they have their end of the year update now, and the real cool thing is now uh, cross platform or cross process rendering is fully implemented, which means that you can just run Chrome in Wayland like the wine version of Chrome on Wayland directly. Uh, and that's going to add support for a bunch of other executables going forward. Uh, they're also in the process of splitting uh, the code base into the Windows PE and Unix portions as prep work for getting this upstreamed, which begs the question, how close is this to actually being ready to go? Because like, if you can just run games in, because I, I assume like once this gets upstreamed into wine, Proton is going to absorb this really quickly because they, they really want that. So oh, that's yeah. going to be like, a, that's going to be a huge like knife in the chest of X. If like all your wine games just work in Na- Wayland natively, that's, that's it. You're kind, you're kind of done. I um, mean, for your desktop still users. Yeah. Yes. yeah. <laughs> there's still going to be a need for X Wayland compatibility because there is going to to be games that just don't work with Wayland at all. Right. But, but like, again, if you Linux gaming these days is basically wine gaming. Yeah. So <laughs> let, 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 let's be real. So, and yeah. ultimately at the end of the day, I mean, if everything's correct, the average person, even the average Linux user shouldn't have to worry about if they're running X or Wayland. Right. Yeah. And then, and, and that, and that's kind of it. It's removing, it's removing all of those blockers until like Wayland is just a first class citizen. And and most just, people don't even realize that uh, the Steam Deck runs Wayland for game mode and X for the desktop. <laughs> no. I mean, most people don't realize that they're running Wayland until some fucks up. Unfortunately, something's going to fuck up at this point. However, you know, reducing the fuck upery. Good job on everybody uh, mm-hmm. who's been working on this because that is. Uh, and thanks for sending us emails and telling us because I've missed stuff like this. I'm like, oh, that's neat. Yeah, I'm putting it in the show. Indeed. Yeah. All right. So coming up next. Pretty princess dress up time. Are you ready, Ben? Ponies. Welcome back. It's time for the Chairquisition, a very special Boxing Day Chairquisition. We're taking a look at Princess Ruby, done by Creative Distractions on Unity. Uh, you can pick it up for about six ninety nine. What is it? Princess Ruby is a 2D platformer aimed at young children. Play as a princess and run, jump, and sometimes ride Horses. a unicorn through each level. Dress up how you want. Change your hairstyle. And the colors of your costume. And if you don't know what this segment is, the actual thing you're watching right now, this is Chairquisition. So where we take a game, run it on a bunch of different Linuxes with a bunch of different hardware, and then give you a highly, highly beautiful princess spilled rating based on lawn chairs. One chair means that it's crap. Four chairs means that it's pretty great. Let's get into it, Ven. Well, I think you? we do want to point out, man. I, like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> this uh, gentleman. Oh, uh, creator- oh we, 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 we do got to say uh, he sent us keys for this over Creator Connect. Yes, he did uh, with a note saying, hey, man, I made a game for my daughter. And yeah. uh, yes. here's three keys you fuckos have at it. So <laughs> away we go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, over here on a Debian bookworm with a 1920 X part by 3060. It kind of ran out of the box be honest with you the linux build has some issues with nvidia like only running at full screen unless you punch in some bonus launch glyphs jordan will tell you about those in a minute however the 3060 can manage a whopping 24 fps at 2160p a little bit cinematic a little bit 1080p wounded mode bumped it up to 60 out of curiosity i had to smash that proton button fam then the 3060 was able to keep this graphical juggernaut at a solid 60 at 2160p thanks proton cloud saves <laughs> sodden you need to add those more and more. I want mm-hmm. to bring that up each and every week. It's something I want to test each and every week because people are going to be bouncing between that, especially in this wild, wacky world of Steam Decks. Xbox X1S X controller worked out of the box. I didn't bother trying to remap anything because this is basically move and jump. And uh, one comment I will have, though, B button, B button and menus should universally go back to the previous screen. Can we agree on that? Yeah, that seems yes. reasonable. All right, thank you. Um, let's talk about fun. You know what? I played until I was able to ride on this war unicorn, man. I was. Uh, it's a bit up, Pedro. It's a bit up. 
<laughs> I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. You just watch. I'm gonna get it. He's Whoa. determined, man. He's like, yeah. Pedro, ah, got hey. it. He's a collectathon, man. Uh, so it took me. I, I got about thirty minutes into this, and I was playing it in, 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 in just in the vein of a speed run, just to keep myself amused, which I was. Uh, Princess Ruby. And I'll say this, man. The game you made for your daughter is serviceable as a platformer. You jump on things and they die. You bump into things, you lose health. You fall into things, you lose health, then a wee bit of progress. Level design, it's varied. You know, I, I get, I really enjoyed the Fast and Furious 7 class smashing, jumping out of skyscraper level. I got a <laughs> chuckle out of me. Uh, it's all about family, right? And um, the platforming challenges, they scaled appropriately. You know, you're throwing some stuff in there, and I'm like, okay, I get this, I get this. And was, you know, I'm trying to look at it through that lens. And of course, and of course, at the end of each level, you're awarded a new outfit. So I was definitely playing some othering dress up. And uh, it had everything you'd expect from a game that was made for a kid. Because, hey, it was. I don't have anything negative to say about this. I don't know about six ninety nine, but hey, your kids got to enjoy it. Maybe do a little bit uh, more work on your Linux build because it's got some issues and just don't rely on, I think, what is this, Unity title? It felt like Unity. Yeah, yes. Unity, yeah. click export job. Don't, don't completely trust Unity. Uh, also test on NVIDIA. Maybe it works great on a Steam Deck. I don't know. Stick around for Pedro's part. He'll tell you more about that. Well, I'm not Pedro, uh, but on Fedora 37, 64 bit with the R9 3900X and the GTX 1080 Ti. Uh, yeah, it launches out of the box. Um, no windowed mode, and it won't remember your screen resolution settings. It does respect the pan line option. So if you do uh, dash screen, dash full screen zero, dash screen, dash height 1080, and dash screen, dash width 1920, uh, it will launch in a windowed mode, but it will not see your save file. So that's fun. Um, Controllers work out of the box. Graphics are stock Unity, but I mean, it gets the point across. Um, there is only the one music track. And, you know, fun-wise, fun, fun wise, it's a perfectly innocuous platformer. Yeah, I'd say Slayer it, was an interesting choice for a child. Right, right, yeah, like, <laughs> fucking let the body sit that far. Yeah. Um, But yeah, like, it, I, I feel it kind of sits squarely in between, like, um, Sonic the Hedgehog and Super Mario in terms of, like, actual platforming mechanics. Probably... Uh, once once I get to like the uh, the unicorn riding levels, it seemed a lot more Donkey Kong ish. But I mean, like if you're if you're building a a game to like introduce your kid to platformers, yeah, give a little mishmash of you know platforming's greatest hits, and you get basically what this game is. Um, and yeah, the platforming is solid enough. Uh, it is pretty forgiving with some of the junks, but jumps, but it is you know aimed at small children, so that's fine. It does have a co op mode. Uh, I'm, normally, this is where I rag on the game for not having online multiplayer, but like. Again, if you're supposed to be playing this with your immediate family, yeah, you know, I don't, I don't think your your six year old daughter is gonna be like calling you over Discord. I don't know. Maybe if you're divorced or you're separated <laughs> or you have some other like distance parenting thing, maybe you want that. That's something for Princess Ruby too. Maybe. Um, here's the deal. Like, like it will buy your you about thirty to forty five minutes worth of quiet if you hand this to your kid, which very mel- way may very well be worth the ask- asking price of seven ninety nine Canadian. Like, there's nothing wrong with this game. It's perfectly serviceable. Uh, the platforming is fine. I'll give, I'll give it two chairs. It's- so, do you think maybe some uh, marriage counseling DLC we could throw in? <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't know. We'll, we'll, have, we'll have to check with the dev. All right. So, for everybody who stuck around for Pedro, like I said, here he is. Hello. Uh, yes. Now, over here on the desktop, it holds 144 at 2560 by 1440, as you can see uh, from the um, little bottom thingy there. It didn't like Mango HUD. Mango no. HUD seems a little finicky. <laughs> Not even. With some Unity games. Uh, yes, it didn't work at all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the uh, On the Steam Deck, uh, it holds 60 at 1280 by 800, so... It, yeah, it, on AMD, it seems to be working fine. Probably was tested on the deck. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've heard those background tracks somewhere. There's not just the one, like Jordan said, but there's two. If you play the oh. levels on hard, you get a different song. <laughs> Ooh, fancy. <laughs> yeah, uh, but yeah. The uh, the princess is somewhere, um, somewhere on the way down. The Uncanny Valley, uh, that smile that she does at the end is equal parts creepy and inadvertently hilarious. Uh, the controllers work. I played uh, all of it except for the little test on the Steam Deck where I discovered, much like Ven, no um, no cloud saves, which is unfortunate. But uh, yeah, no, controllers all work. I played all of it with the uh, the alpaca, so double bonus there as for the fun yeah i'm clearly not the target audience in fact <laughs> when i went to the steam page for the game um i 
saw the dev and the target audience in the trailers. Like, oh, okay, so th- there they are. They're they're the people responsible for this game existing. Hey man, uh, just put a souls like tag on it. He'll change his name. <laughs> it just it just you, know, you introduce the stamina meter and give <laughs> the horsey a dodge mechanic. And then we're talking. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, the uh, I I will say this. Like, okay, I've played tons of uh platformers over the years and i'm kind of done with platforming for the sake of platforming so compound that with the fact that i'm clearly not the target audience it's you you can sort of guess where this is going uh the controls are tight uh in fact on a technical level you get full marks at least for my end uh the character only moves when you tell her to and it doesn't really hold your hand much uh it's even on hard, it's fairly easy. It doesn't take control away for the player for the sake of explaining the new mechanics. Whenever you get the horse and the um, the Pegasus, it tells you, okay, this is how you move, this is how you shoot, this is how you do the things, all without taking control away from you, and that's always a big, big plus for me. And yeah, there's the occasional weirdness with the uh, the jump pads and the wall jumping, but that's even on AAA platformers, I've seen that happen, so, you know, fair enough. So it gets two chairs for me. <laughs> Yeah, so that's two chairs across the board. Like, again, we're 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 three thirty to forty something year old men. This is clearly a, not a game aimed at us, but like, yeah, it's it's competent, right? It, I mean, this is good to like at yeah. least go. It's always nice to have somebody go over your game, man. And, and yeah. we thought it'd be fun to do since you know it's kind of the dead time. Indeed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did oh, did either of you try it? Well, um, because it does support more than one player simultaneous multiplayer. Yeah. Did did I, not I, try I, that out. But, mm. No, uh, <laughs> didn't even occur to me. To be fair, <laughs> I, 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 w- I was going to, but uh, my my sick wife would uh, not be interested. So, um, which you know, fair. It's like, hey, hey, wake up, come play video games. Play, with me. Okay, okay, <laughs> <laughs> come play a questionable video game with me, please. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, coming up next, no one can understand a damn word that I say when I talk about soup. Also, GPUs. Three guys. It's the end. No worry. There'll be more. In fact, 2023 is just around the corner. Hey, man, you missed There'll out on the There'll be more position. LGC then. <laughs> uh, no, uh, in fact, Ven and Jordan will be back uh, next week with um, a certain Michael Fox dog. Hmm? <laughs> uh, because I will be uh, hopefully um, enjoying in New Year's yeah. somewhere else. No, not in Australia. We're trading. No. <laughs> closer to the east coast of uh britain so there's that never been there so we'll see how that goes what if, what if uh, we just swapped pedro and foxy what if we like nori wakes up one day and just foxy's <laughs> uh, foxy would be kicked uh, repeatedly <laughs> but yeah uh if you uh have opinions thoughts things better left and said you can absolutely say them to us directly by going to linuxgamecast.com hitting the contact button there's a form you gotta fill and some caveats you should absolutely read at the top if you don't read them and your message doesn't come through well you only have yourself to blame for that one so no, it's, it's, still, it's still your fault mm-hmm. <laughs> might as well yeah <laughs> i i i'm deep into a very bad Google image search. So let's bounce out of that and cover the <laughs> yeah, first let, one. Yeah, let, from uh, Von, Von Doom. Doom. Uh, yeah, ask, ask him about GPUs. He said, I missed it. What was the $200 cheaper AMD card that matched the RTX 4080? Trying to get the best card for around $400 to $600. Yeah, you're not getting that card for $400 to $600. Ew. That was the no. 7900 XT. Uh, and XTX. that is XTX. And that is a thousand. Well, that, that, that's a thousand. Yeah. Which I guess is still, which I guess is still 200 cheaper than the 4080. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh man, what a what a fucking era we live in. Ugh. Yeah, but if you want something between four hundred and six hundred, uh, uh, on the AMD side, you could get the sixty seven hundred XT like I have for around four hundred now easily. Mm-hmm. Um, the sixty nine fifty XT, if you're lucky, you can get it for around six hundred. It's usually a bit more, so look for the sixty nine hundreds. Um. What about, the, like, uh, what about like a 6750? The 6750, you can get that for like 450 easily. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah um, hey, you got to give kudos to NVIDIA and AMD because they found a way to maintain an absolute shit time to buy video cards while having stock. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> nothing's changed over the past three years. Like and now you can buy, but nothing that you'd want to buy because yeah, we were talking about that during the arc segment is that upper mid range that, you know, 300, 400, possibly 500, that market, it, there's nothing on the market right now. That's really good. Unless you want last gen or even current gens considered, you know, the 30 series, last gen, uh, the 6,700 XTs, last gen mm -hmm. and Anteater Intel. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Let's listen. We're, we're just gonna, we're just gonna kill our dedicated GPU group because you know, didn't make a billion dollars after five minutes. Oh man, that's the thing. The seven seventy, uh, it matches up in performance in uh, Vulcan because that that uh, like uh, Jordan said earlier in the show, it's mostly Proton, which means it's mostly Vulcan. I want to see if the seven seventy it's <laughs> once AM not AMD but uh. Once Twitch and YouTube flip that AV1 switch, mm -hmm. value proposition changes there, but they haven't done that. So, yeah. which <laughs> is curious to me because you know they've had to, the back end, all the work's done. Even OBS is like, we're ready to do this. And um, what, you, what you're waiting on, Brad? I guess maybe Twitch knows is like, can't nobody afford an NVIDIA 40 series. <laughs> not, 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 not at the rates we're paying our streamers. No, <laughs> but yeah, no, they, they absolutely should. And even if people only end up getting like, cause that's one of the things that I put in the notes, it's the A380. It's supposed to be the cheap one, it's supposed to be the affordable one, but mm -hmm. you can't fucking find one anywhere. And the few ones that do show up on eBay secondhand are like 300 pounds. Fuck that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah. Uh, again, we'll just go back to it's an absolute shit. Don't buy a GP right now. Like, yeah, wait. Like, for can. no reason. I don't care how bad. I mean, unless your GPU just straight up dies. And even then, I want you to think about it long and hard. I continue waiting. You, so, pro you probably still have an APU and plugged into that system, anyways. So you still have a video out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 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 here, if here's, even if you still have the 2400G, the first of the Ryzen APUs, that's still that Vega 11. It's still a pretty good uh, integrated GPU. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as somebody who has a second 5600G sitting in a box across this room, like if you got one of those, you can do a lot of gaming right now. Like you, oh, yeah. there, you can get <laughs> by with that. So um, you know, let's just sit back and wait because, you know, even if it's by choice or by force, uh, you know, I'm team not paying a thousand dollars for a video card. If I pay a thousand dollars, I'm not team two, man. <laughs> um, if I'm paying a thousand dollars, it's going to be like, you know, a 24 gig quadro purpose built. It's not, I'm not buying, yeah, 1200 bucks for a gaming GPUs. That's not going to happen, guys. Yeah. Just let it go. Have fun with it. Sit on that stock. Wonder why those 4080s are still sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> and video finally run up against the, uh, Upper lemon. <laughs> Tur turns out we're all broke as fuck. <laughs> not not a great climate for affording expensive GPUs. Come on, man! Like go, you can use it for mining. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Evandro oh, writes in. Uh, you know, he had some mention, but uh, maybe our credits were not up to snuff anymore. And uh, you might remember last what was it, last week or week before last. Uh, Evandro's like, what the fuck just happened? Episode five thirty eight. After the last failure with the Roman numerals, I'm supposed to support this? Three exclamation points. Unbelievable. Three more exclamation points. Uh, at least I still managed to enjoy the five soups. Or whatever Jordan says <laughs> at the end. Dot, dot, dot. Extra exclamation point. Forge slash S. Nice show. Again. Yeah. I, I, I went back and watched that. That was that wonderful thing where the credits didn't render properly and we had like 10 minutes of darkness mm -hmm. that we were just sit, sitting through. Yeah, uh, I just Those said credits won, man. I was like, fuck it. Fuck it. We're just yeah. going to sit here until we can figure this out. Oh, oh yeah. Um, I, I I just said five dudes at the end, but now I want five soups. And you you brought up potato soup. So I was, um, so was going to ask potato you soup, what, what's... Man. Yeah, what, what what your soup is, Pedro? What's what's your favorite soup? I'm immune to potato soup because I um, hurt myself with it earlier. Spinach, this week. like uh, spinach Ooh. soup with ground with the uh, like the hand grinder thingy. With a hand, like baby, hand? baby hands. I mean, you can uh, put a baby hand in there too. If that's <laughs> yeah, your thing, because you know, wait, wait, he's got to pay, right? Like, <laughs> press his baby hands. Yeah, but that, no, you just use the the hand blender thingy. And just there, none. It's pretty good soup. <laughs> like, uh, all right, good soup is good when it's uh, soup is good food. I believe they once said, and 
it's it's liquid and it's uh hey if you're hungry and thirsty and, yeah it's slightly it's, salty it's, it's, liquid uh, it's nourishing and hydrating nutrients. at the same time let's go all right ladies and gentlemen on that unicorn wizard flavored bomb show we're gonna bounce out of here if you want to get a hold of me, we have our Mastodon instance, mast.linuxgamecast.com. I'm at Vin there, or still hanging out on the Twitters at, at Vinstone. Uh, hop into our Discord if you're a patron or a Twitch sub. Link that up. Come say hi to us. We're in there. It's active. Uh, available on IRC and it's linked into our Twitch chat as well. Hi, I'm Princess Handjob. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at uh, the Burning Fool. I'm gonna try and post a Mastodon more at Mast or Frojo at mast.linkscamecast.com, and maybe one day I'll stream at Twitch.tv/slash Burning Fool. I have nowhere near the required amount of charisma to be Denny Sexbang, but hey, I can dream. You, <laughs> you could be Denny's Sexbang. <laughs> it's a grand slam. Uh. Discount Sexbang, yes. Uh, you can find me at Unaccounted4 on Twitter, uh, or Elonet, however you want to call it. Until that burns down, I guess I'll hang around there. I... <laughs> How about Man. some credits? Okay, I, I got I got one Denny's anecdote, and that is that we went to one. Empty and I just kept going to that one Denny's in California <laughs> while we were there. The, the fucking waiter recognized us. He just we, Empty kept giving him like twenty dollar tips, and he just kept showing up with coffee. He was, hey man, he loved us, man. Uh, it's a good thing they didn't have a drive through. No. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> which has a Linux port. Yeah, both both of them, both of the Linux or both of the Zelda CDI games, you can run on Linux yep. now. Mm. <laughs> yeah, uh, man, the credits, they worked this time around. DXL, man. Deluxe <laughs> XL. We got to thank our advisors, Omega, Sartheron. We got to thank our executive producers. They are Barb Rep, Scott Michaud, Scott, Atomic Ass, Mike G, George, Mike T, Drummer, Kohaku, Tomas. George, Pebble, Tomaj, Unoid. We got our little Nicky fans, Super Death Stoat. Sea monsters, man. Look at them. Ronald, Ryder X, Market, Troy, Gavir, Fanuta, Justin, Frostclaw, Nubbin, David, Darkwing, System T, Disney, Joe, and Ogivan. And Death Note, Nova, Basil, Chad, Romeo, Marcin, Renee, Leonardo, DeCresny, Kim, Smashly G, Chris, Stephen Jill, Benjamin, Doom 2. Wide, Stephen B, Dirty Dean, Back, Gamatron, Dodger, Zenthers Gaming, Rue, Turnover, Cheesy Bacon, Mr. Fox Dog, Svein, Oil of Hope, Jello, and Alex. And all the channelings like that? Ramzawada, Rohit, hey, there we are. Look. Mir, Ooh, Jonas, <laughs> Steve's, so many Steve's. We got Frezo, Yvonne, ah, Daniel, Belrick, oh, and Ryan, Oil of Hope, and Jonas Rule, Johnny, and Steve, Sacred Egg, Menno, <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. Oh, man. And a uh, big thank you to uh, Game Motron for the uh, physical copies of Neverwinter Nights. And these fuckers. <laughs> the non-physical ones. Those are the ones you got to watch out for. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you next week. Stay super. See you next year? Question mark. I guess depends on what you watch the next episode. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. Listen, I, I learned that trick. I know how to set the calendar back. <laughs> I'll be back next year. Don't you worry. Five dudes. <laughs>